Welcome back to Escapement and Watch. I'm your host, Falling Titan. Today, we're going to talk about a huge leap in horology back in 1957, the world's first electric watch. Who did it? Who was first? Hamilton. Amazing. Let's check out the movement. Okay, look how cool that looks. It looks like a fully mechanical watch. However, there's no mainspring. There's a battery. So how does that work? Let me try to explain it. Basically, the balance has a coil around one side, so it creates an artificial magnet when a charge goes through that coil. So the battery sends a charge to that coil, creates a magnet. Now there's two magnets underneath the balance, and then when that charge hits that top balance, creating that magnet, it repels with the magnet underneath. When you ever, have you ever put two magnets together and they repel? So that's what's happening, it repels. And because it's on, it's on a hinge, the balance swings, and then the other magnet will repel it, and then the balance will swing. And that powers the mechanical movement. So a genius idea, very cool. I never seen this movement before. It's called the Hamilton 500. And then they perfected it in the 505. Well, not perfected it, made it a lot better. <laughs> Apparently, the 500 was basically a beta test. They wanted to get there first and they did it. Now they wanted their watch to look futuristic, so they, they hired a car designer and he made the Ventura to match that futuristic watch. The watch of the future had to look futuristic. Post-modern, after the war, we had those crazy cars, those Cadillacs with the huge fins. That's what this watch reminds me of. Let's look at the original Ventura. There it is. There's a two-tone strap. It's beautiful. Now, Elvis Presley, some of you may know him, loved the Ventura watches, and he wore it on a movie called Blue Hawaii, and the watch rose to fame. It was a watch that no one has ever seen before, a watch like no other. So it was well done by Hamilton, new technology and new looks, and star power. Home run. Now, the Ventura still lives on today in many different iterations. Uh, we're gonna check one out today, so let's see what the Ventura has now become. Okay, thank you to Kavar Jewelers for lending this into the channel so we could check it out. And if you wanna buy this watch, email me in the description below and I'll give you a discount code. Introducing the Hamilton Ventura. Look at that. Right away, the case shape you can see looks like a shield. Super cool and unique. This thing is completely polished. It also kind of looks like a, the front grill of a vehicle. Like the radiator, the olden days where you could see the radiator and that's the cap or the emblem. <laughs> Do you guys see that? Ultra reflective, ultra polished, super high polished, no brushing and a gentle curvature to the case. So very intricate case shape and very unique. There's nothing like it. So you wear it like that. Very cool. Okay, so the movement on this one is an ETA quartz with three jewels. So pretty good. And it's called the F05.111. All right. Now let's look at the dimensions. It's a little bit difficult to get the dimensions on such a crazy, unique case shape. We have a 32.3 diameter. nine point five millimeters thick and the lug to lug where the drilled lug holes are i measured at 44 millimeters however this design aspect of the case sticks out longer than the drilled lugs and that is 50.3 millimeters <laughs> so a little bit difficult to get the correct measurements on this shape the crown is a tiny 4.3 millimeter crown and the straps 17 millimeter right there. So a little bit difficult to find straps. 
and it tapers down to, I believe, 16. So very small taper. Now let's look at the clasp. It's signed Hamilton and you just lift, you just lift to take it out like that. Same as this. So it's a butterfly style and it's all pressure. There's no, there's no buttons to release it. All right. It's all milled. Very nice. Case back has an H and the word Hamilton. And the leather is not bad. It is calf skin with imitation lizard printed or embossed on it. So it is cow, but it's meant to look like lizard. Very cool. It feels great. Feels like it'll break in in about a month. Not too stiff. Hamilton usually does good straps. Now this is 50 meters of water resistance. So not too bad either. I was expecting 30 for a watch like this. Now it has a mineral crystal instead of a sapphire. And as you can see, the dial and hands, dolphin style hands, and the dial is inky black with that electric pattern across from the nine to the three showing its heritage with the first electric watch. And then just as Hamilton, the marker at 12 has double pips or double markers. They're just round cylinders and they're double stacked at 12. Absolutely no loom. It is, I don't think there's any AR. It is a reflection king <laughs> and a little bit difficult for legibility. But this watch is all about style, making a statement. Now the price. This one is 945 Canadian. So going to be roughly around 700 USD. All right. Something interesting I found out about the movement. When I take out the crown, it's just push pull. When I'm in the first position, it's a ghost first position, but I can hear a date change. So this movement might have its date wheel still in there. I don't know. So just found that a little bit interesting. Here it is on my six and a half inch wrist. It wears a little bit small, but it looks a lot bigger on camera. And there's a little bit of a gap on the right side. That's the, that's the strap being a little bit stiff and not breaking in, but feels lightweight and comfortable. All right. Look at that cool look. <laughs> awesome. We're going to check out the weight. 51 grams. Oh wait, it went to 50. This is a watch that you're not even going to notice you're wearing. And some people like that. It's awesome. Now we're not going to do the time grapher because it is a quartz movement and no loom. So no loom shot. So a little bit of a quick review today. This is a simple watch and a very cool watch. You got to have a lot of style to pull this watch off. You got to be kind of like Elvis, a little bit flamboyant, a little bit more fashionable. Definitely not for me stylistically, uh, but I appreciate it and I love its history. So it's a cool watch. Maybe I'll add one to the collection one day. What do you guys think? Now, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.